RMAs to the AR ledger. As you can see, in the AR ledger, this person has a zero balance. We're going to go ahead and RMA in order and apply it to the AR ledger so they can turn around and apply those funds directly to a new order. For the convenience of the customer who has a small balance on their credit cards, refunds take three to five business days depending on their bank and may not be able to turn around and place a new order immediately like they would want to until the refund actually hits their card. So this is for their convenience. So first we'll go into an order we want to RMA. We're gonna pull up this one by double clicking on it. And instead of clicking return item or return full order, we're going to click the box of what we are going to return and return full order and move funds to an AR ledger. Now this does all the steps for you. It RMAs the order, it applies the 10% restocking fee, and it receives the order as being returned and received. And as you can see, this order now has been RMA'd. If you go to the RMA tab, a 10% restocking fee has been applied and it has been received. So the amount, the 10% restocking fee has been kept on the, on the order, but the amount that is going into the AR ledger is the rest, and that would be over here, sitting in the AR ledger. Now you can see that that order was refunded with the a refund to the AR ledger one click RMA. They got a total of $3,060. Now they can go in to orders, place a new order using the AR ledger as the payment type.